Restaurants should never rush guests to finish their meal, but guests should be aware of the impact their stay has on the staff and other diners. The fewer tables the restaurant turns over, the less revenue the business generates. I was just in a restaur restaurant Saturday on Kirby when it appeared some of the people were marinating in their seats. I thought people were going to just pull out their PJs and call it a sleepover. People, you can't just live in a restaurant. <laughs> Go home when you finish your food. Here to talk about this is Monica and Darian Lewis from the Monica Lewis School of Etiquette and Don and Brandy Bo Bowie, owners of the Taste Bar and Kitchen. Glad to have you guys here on the Thank factory. You. Thank you. Now, I mean, it, it's like a pet peeve of mine. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't stay here all day. Right, day. right. Turn it into a nightclub. Right, it's right. like it's it, a it personal. Really <laughs> yeah, we, we can tell. We can tell. We can tell. Right. We're help you. When should you leave? Well, typically when you receive the receipt, you should leave. <laughs> right, right. When you receive the receipt, you should leave. No, you shouldn't stay no more than 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> after you, after you receive the receipt. Right. Yeah. And if you have a large party, you already should alert the waiter up, up front. That, hey, is it going to be separate tickets or is it going to be one ticket? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, make sure you make that um, known before you actually sit down. Yeah. Darren, what is in the mentality that says I can just stay here all night? <laughs> I don't know where they've gotten that, that misconception from. Your meal shouldn't last any longer than an hour and a half tops. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you come into the, meet, the, the restaurant, you need to know that. And within an hour and a half, 90 minutes or so, you should be ready to exit the meal and, and wrap it up. You're not there to stay all night, like you said. You shouldn't, you shouldn't wait until the server asks you a question like, do you need anything else? Right. Or We're cutting the lights off. Yeah, they start cutting the lights right? off. Or they say something like, we're about to change the schedules or shifts. Uh -huh. You know, is there anything else you need before I leave? Mm -hmm. You know, you want to pay attention to those cues and those codes that the service are giving you. And how does it hurt you guys financially as restaurant owners mm -hmm. if someone is staying there all damn night? Well, I can speak on the aspect of being a server, and it really affects the way they make their money. If you have someone that's camping out all day, they live off those tips. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing that you want to do is turn and burn those tables. So you want to get as many in and as many out as possible because they're only making typically two thirteen an hour. So tips are very valuable to them. Mm -hmm. So if they're sitting there all day and then that tip is maybe 10 to $20, kind of a wasted day for them and usually what will happen if the atmosphere is usually where the guests stay your your uh, server will quit and they'll go to another location where it's more of a thing of their turning and burning those tables to make that money so it can affect uh, us as owners mm -hmm. very bad because we always want our servers to stay for sure and of course we know you love your customers correct yes. so do are you ever at a point where you have to say we want to kind of move it keep it moving can you guys Get the hell out or <laughs> yeah. in a nicer way. <laughs> well, you do. And for, for times like, well, like we really have a big Saturday and Sunday brunch. So we try to tell them ahead of time, hey, there's like an hour and a half limit on tables because uh, we have a lot of reservations for the day. So we kind of tell them ahead of time so it's not a comfortable, uncomfortable conversation towards the end. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, they'll sit there and they're having a good time and we kind of make it very warm and inviting and next thing you know you feel like you're sitting in somebody's living room. Right, <laughs> right, right. Okay. And, and there's been uh, rumors out there that one local business even uh, tacked on an 18% service charge because people were camping out mm -hmm. and, and they're losing money so yep. they right. added that they added service it. charge right. on top of the tip. Yeah, right. that's absolutely acceptable. But one of the things if they don't add that service charge onto your bill, what you should do is you should tip above the minimum. You mm -hmm. should at least tip 20% or higher, especially mm -hmm. if you know that your meal is run longer. Like uh, Brandy was saying, you know, that's how they make their money. So you want to make sure that you make up for that time that your party actually went over that hour and a half mark.